Welcome aboard the Read Me a Story Dad podcast, where dreams take flight, laughter reigns supreme, and there's magic in every page. Let's dive into today's wonderful tale together, starting right now. Welcome to Read Me a Story Dad, where there's a father's love in every page. My name is Brent, and today we'll be reading The Sleep Book by Dr. Seuss, Random House, 1962. The news just came in from County of Click. The very small bug by the name of Black is yawning so wide you can look down his neck. This may not seem very important, I know, but it is, so I'm bothering to tell you so. A yawn is quite catching, you see, like a cough. It just takes one yawn to start other yawns off. Now the news has come and some friends of Van Blex are yawning so wide you can look down their necks. At this moment, right now, under seven more noses, great yawns are in blossom, like they're blooming like roses. The yawn of the one little bug is still spreading. According to latest reports, it is heading across the wide fields through the sleepy night air, across the whole country towards every which where. And people are gradually starting to say, I feel rather da- drowsy. I've had quite a day. Creatures are starting to think about rest. Two biffer bomb birds are now building their nests. They do it each night, and quite often I wonder how they do this big job without making a blunder. But that is their problem, not yours and not mine. The point is they're going to bed, and that's fine. Sleep thoughts are spreading throughout the whole land. The time for night brushing of teeth is at hand. Up at Herr Heck, Heck Him Falls... Heckheimer Falls, where the great rivers rush and crashes down crags in the great gargling gushes. The Heckheimer sisters are using their brushes. Those falls are just grand for toothbrushing beneath, if you happen to be up that way with your teeth. The news just came in from Castle of Krupp. The lighters are all out and the drawbridge is up. The old drawbridge drawer just said with a yawn, my drawbridge is drawn and it's going to say drawn till the milkman delivers the milk about dawn. I'm going to bed now, so nobody better come around with a special delivery letter. The number of sleepers is steadily growing. Bed is where more and more people are going. In Culpeper Springs, in the Stilt Walker's Hall, the Stilt Walker stilts are all stacked on the wall. The Stilt Walker walks have called it a day. Walkers have called it a day. They're all tuckered out and they're snoozing away. This is very big news, it's important to know, and that's why I'm bothering to tell you so. Way out in the west, in the town of Merced, the Hinkle Horn Honking Club just went to bed. Every horn has been quietly hung on a hook for the night in its own private Hinkle Horn nook. All all this long happy day they've been honking about, and the Hinkle Horn Honkers have honked themselves out. But they'll wake quite fresh in the morning. And then they'll start right in Hinkle Horn horny, Honking Horn Hinkle Horn Honking again. Everywhere creatures are falling asleep. The collapsible frink just collapsed in a heap. And by adding the frink to the others before, I am able to give you the who's asleep score. Right now, 40,404 creatures are happily deeply in slumber, and I think you'll agree that's a whopping fine number. Counting up sleepers, just how do we do it? Really quite simple. There's nothing much to it. We find out how many we learn about the amount by an audio tally o tally count. On the mountain halfway between Reno and Rome, we have a machine in a plexiglass dome, which listens and looks into everybody's home. And whenever it sees a new sleeper go flop, it jiggles and lets us a new big old ball drop. Our chap counts these balls as they plunk, plump, plump in a cup. And that's how we know who's down and who's up. Do you talk in your sleep? It's a wonderful sport. And I have some news of this sport to report. The world champion sleep talkers, Joe and Mo Redzoff, have just gone to sleep and they're talking their heads off. For 55 years now, each chattering brother has babbled and gabbled all night to the other. They've talked about laws and they've talked about gauze. They've talked about paws and they've talked about flaws. They've talked quite a lot about old Santa Claus. And the reason I'm telling you this is because you should take up this sport. It's just fine for the jaws. Do you walk in your sleep? I just had a report of some interesting news of this popular sport. Near Finnegan Finn, there's Sleepwalkers group, which not only walks, but 
walks a loop a hoop. Every night they go miles. Why they walk to such length, they have to keep eating to keep up their strength. So every so often, one pops, puts down his hoop, stops hopping, and does some quick snooping super soup. And that's why they know are known as the hoop soup snoop group. Sleepwalking too, sleepwalking too are the curious Kendralls who sleepwalk on the hills with assorted sized candles. The Crandalls walk nightly in slumbering peace, in spite of slight burns from the hot dripping grease. The Crandalls wear candles because they walk fast, and if they wake up, they want wake up want to see where they're at. Now the news has arrived from the Valley of Vale that a Chippendale Mup has just bitten his tail which he does every night before shutting his eyes. Such nipping sounds silly, but really it is wise. He has no alarm clock, so this is his way. He makes sure that he will wake up at the right time of day. His tail is so long, he'll feel, he won't feel any pain till the nip makes the trip and gets up to his brain. In exactly eight hours, the Chippendale Mup will at last feel the bite and yell, Ouch! and wake up. And Mr. and Mrs. J. Carmichael Crocs have just gone to bed near the town of Fort Knox. And they, by the way, have the finest of clocks. I'm not at all sure that I quite, quite understand just how the thing works with one extra hand. But I do know this clock does one very slick trick. It does tick-tock. It doesn't tick-tock. How it goes is tick-tock-tick. Tick. So it ticks in the rock talker and the rock talks in the ticker. It saves a lot of time and the sleepers sleep quicker. What a fine night for sleeping from all that I hear. It's the best night of sleeping in many a year. They're even asleep in the Zwieback Motel, and people don't usually sleep there too well. The beds are like rocks, and as everyone knows, the sheets are too short and they won't cover your toes. So if people are actually sleeping in there, it's a great night for sleeping. It must be in the air. It's a great night for snores. I just had a report of some boys who were the tops in the musical sport. The snorty, snortiest snorters in all our fair land our Snorer McPhail and the Snorer Snore Band. This band can snore Dixie or an old Swanee River so loud it would make 40 elephants shiver. The loudest of all the boys is McPhail. He snores with his head in three gallon and three gallon pail. So they snore in the cave 20 miles out of town. If they snored closer in, they would snore to the da town down. Do you know who's asleep out in Foon Lagoon? Two very nice Foon Lagoon baboon. We've added them to our Who's Asleep count, which has grown to really amazing amounts. Exactly 8,808 creatures are sleeping now. Isn't that great? A jet is in bed, and the bed, is a, and the bed of the jet is the softest of beds in the world, it is said. He makes it from pom-poms that he grows on his head, and he's sleeping right now on the softest of fluff, completely exhausted from growing the stuff. The news has come down from District of Dolph, that two oft are asleep, and they're sleeping aloft. And how are they able to sleep off the ground? I tell you, I weighed one last week, and I found that the oft is so light, he weighs minus one pound. A moose is asleep, he is dreaming of moose drinks. A goose is asleep, he is dreaming of goose drinks. That's well and good when the moose dreams of moose juice, and nothing goes wrong when the goose dreams of goose juice. But it isn't too good when the moose and the goose start dreaming they're drinking the other one's juice. Moose juice, not goose juice, is juice for a moose, and goose juice, not moose juice, is juice for a goose. And so when goose gets a mouthful of juices, mooses, of juices of mooses, and moose gets a mouthful of juices of gooses, they always fall out of their beds screaming in screams. So I'm warning you now, never drink in your dreams. Speaking of dreaming, I think you should note the Bub Bumble Tub Club is now dreaming afloat. Every night they go dreaming down Bumble Tub Creek, except for one night every third or fourth week, when they stop for repairs because their Bumble Tubs leak. And by But tonight they're afloat, full of dreams, full of bliss, and that's why I'm bothering to tell you this. In the fork of the road in the Vale of Valvode, five foot weary salesmen have laid down their load. All day they race around in the heat at top speeds, unsuccessfully trying to sell Zizzer Zoof Seeds, which nobody wants because nobody needs. Tomorrow will come. They'll go back to their chore. They'll start on the road, Zizzer Zoofing once more. But tonight they've forgotten. Their feet are so sore. And that's what's what, what the wonderful nighttime is for. 
Everywhere, creatures have shut off their voice. They have all gone to bed in their beds of their choice. They're sleeping in bushes, they're sleeping in crannies. Some are on their stomachs and some on their fannies. They're peacefully sleeping in comfortable holes, some even on soft tufts, barber, soft tufted barber poles, shop holes. The number of sleepers is now past the millions. The number of sleepers is now in the billions. They're sleeping on steps and on strings and on floors, in mailboxes, ships, and keys holes of doors. Every worm on a fish hook is safe for the night. Every fish in the sea is too sleepy to bite. Every whale in the ocean has turned off his spout. Every light between here and far foodle is out. And now, adding things up, we are way beyond billions. Our who's asleep score is now in the zillions. Ninety-nine zillion, nine trillion, and two creatures are sleeping. So how about you? When you put out your light, then the number will be 99 zillion, 9 trillion, and 3. I hope you enjoyed the sleep book by Dr. Seuss. Remember, you are loved, you are special, and you are more than enough.